being homeschooled and everything and yeah. how did this whole thing develop where you end up um, coming so down with this program? Pretty much I used to play at a like a kind of like a homeschool thing in Grand Rapids called um, Rivertown Christian Volleyball for my freshman and sophomore year and then I played on Ted's team at club with Ari and Sid. So basically, like they were kind of like like Sid and Ari were the ones to be like, hey, like you're a Whitehall student, right? Like you should play at Whitehall. And as far as I knew, I couldn't do that. <laughs> so I was like, I don't think I can. And so then I started working with Ted to like see if I could, because he wanted me to as well. And then like we figured it out. And as long as I was taking a certain amount of credits through Whitehall, then it worked out. So. Where are you at in terms of schooling? Because I know sometimes homeschool it can be it can be more advanced or you can get through stuff maybe a little quicker. Where are you at now yeah, in terms of academics? It's complicated. I was like when I was in eighth grade, I was like a year ahead or so. But now I do all my classes at MCC, so it's kinda like I'm not really in a set grade because I just do like like freshman year I did English one and then junior year I did English two, but then I did like algebra one, like my freshman year and geometry my like sophomore year. So it's really all over the place, but I don't know, it's hard to explain. So Ted says you're a six rotational hitter, mm -hmm. which he says those are not, they don't just grow on trees, obviously. <laughs> yeah. um, how do you feel about, or how fun is it to be able to be versatile like that and in a position where the hitter which sometimes isn't always as versatile? Yeah, it's nice. I think really what allows me to do that is I used to be a libero when I was younger. So I used to only play the back row and then I grew about five inches in one year and then they were like, all right, Ted was the first one to be like, all right, you can go hit. And I was like, all right, bet, like put me for a row. <laughs> Because I had not hit before that, so yeah, I guess that's. What are your plans after Whitehall then? After after you're done with this this mm -hmm. current school year, I guess. Um, I'm planning to attend Concordia University in Ann Arbor to play volleyball and um, get my bachelor's and master's in business and finance, something along there. You said that you go to football games, and so it's like yeah, you do all the other social stuff. Sounds like yeah, pretty much. I engage in whatever activities. Other people do most of the time as long as I know people that are going because I don't like particularly know everyone here, but I know like the girls on the team and a few others. So. How do you feel about things going into the district and about the season that you guys have had? I feel pretty good. It's been a rough start, like you said. Like I feel like we're finally playing how we could have been playing all season now, which would have been nice to like my senior year would have been nice to get that going in the beginning and take a few more games because I feel like we could have taken Montague and Fremont um, in conference then and hope. I mean, I feel like we could have taken Ludington too. I, still feel like that way but it's nice that now we're getting there at least so I feel good going into districts that we're gonna play hard and at least give money to play. And how do you feel that it's here in this gym too? Pretty good I think that'll definitely get us an advantage because I feel like it being at Fruitport last year definitely hurt us when we were playing um, Fruitport we lost to them in five their fans were crazy and loud and it was their home gym and they knew that and that was definitely an advantage so I'm hoping we have that same advantage here.